Malaysia, known for its vibrant culture and stunning landscapes, has undergone a remarkable economic transformation. Once reliant on tin mining and agriculture, Malaysia diversified its economy. This led to a robust industrial sector focusing on high-tech industries. The semiconductor industry is now a global powerhouse. Malaysia is now one of the largest chip manufacturing countries in the world and ranks eighth in the number of fabrication plants set up in the country just after the United Kingdom. Malaysia's shift to technology showcases its strategic vision and commitment to innovation. Leaders embraced the digital age, paving the way for global success. Today, Malaysia is a key player in the global supply chain. Its journey to become one of the world's semiconductor giant might just have started. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel to not miss any of our latest updates. Malaysia's economic transformation was meticulously planned. Vision 2020, unveiled by Mahathir Mohamad in 1991, aimed for developed nation status by 2020. It laid out nine strategic challenges, including economic prosperity and technological advancement. The Malaysian government implemented five-year development plans to achieve this vision. These plans outline targets across sectors like manufacturing, education and technology. They provided direction for investments, policy reforms and human capital development. The semiconductor genesis. The roots of Malaysia's semiconductor industry can be traced back to the 1970s. This period marked the beginning of the country's foray into electronics manufacturing. The government, recognizing the industry's growth potential, actively courted multinational corporations to set up operations in Malaysia. Attracted by a combination of factors, including a business-friendly environment, low labor costs and government incentives, several semiconductor giants established assembly and testing facilities in Malaysia. Key players in Malaysia's semiconductor landscape include global leaders such as Broadcom, Intel, Western Digital and Infineon Technologies. These early investments proved to be pivotal, laying the foundation for a thriving ecosystem. The influx of foreign expertise brought with it valuable knowledge transfer, enabling Malaysian workers to acquire specialized skills in semiconductor manufacturing. According to latest reports, Malaysia now accounts for 13% of global semiconductor testing and packaging, and is already the world's sixth largest exporter of semiconductors. In fact, the arrival of these industry leaders had a catalytic effect. It not only created employment opportunities for Malaysians, but also spurred the growth of supporting industries. Local companies emerged to provide a range of services, from component supply to equipment maintenance, further strengthening the semiconductor ecosystem. Nurturing growth and innovation is another key factor fostering the rise of Malaysian semiconductor sector. One of the important reasons that has propelled the remarkable growth of Malaysia's semiconductor industry has been the availability of a skilled and adaptable workforce. Malaysia has invested heavily in education and training programs tailored to the needs of the electronics sector. This has resulted in a pipeline of qualified engineers, technicians and operators capable of meeting the industry's demand for skilled labor. Beyond a skilled workforce, Malaysia has fostered a business-friendly environment that encourages innovation and investment. The government has implemented policies aimed at attracting foreign direct investment and promoting technology transfer. These policies, coupled with Malaysia's strategic location within Southeast Asia, have made it an attractive destination for semiconductor companies. Malaysia's commitment to research and development has also been instrumental in its success. The country is home to several world-class universities and research institutions specializing in microelectronics and related fields. This focus on research and development has enabled Malaysia to move beyond basic assembly and testing and venture into higher value activities, such as chip design and development. But the demand is so high that even these measures are falling short over the long term, Malaysia will more likely attract foreign skilled workers to meet the demands of the rising semiconductor industry in the country. The Malaysian government has also played a pivotal role in nurturing the growth of the semiconductor industry. Recognizing its strategic importance, the government has implemented a range of policies and incentives designed to attract investments, promote innovation and enhance the industry's competitiveness. 
One of the key pillars of government support has been the establishment of specialized industrial zones, such as the Bayan Lipas Free Industrial Zone in Penang. These zones offer a range of benefits to semiconductor companies, including tax breaks, streamlined regulations, and access to world-class infrastructure. These incentives have been instrumental in attracting multinational corporations to set up operations in Malaysia. Beyond fiscal incentives, the government has also focused on creating a conducive environment for businesses to thrive. This includes investing in infrastructure development, such as reliable power supply, high-speed internet connectivity, and efficient logistics networks. These efforts have helped to reduce operating costs for businesses and enhance their overall competitiveness. Malaysia's semiconductor industry is characterized by the presence of both global industry giants and a vibrant ecosystem of local companies. In December 2021, American chip giant Intel said it will invest more than $7 billion to build a chip packaging and testing factory in Malaysia, with production expected to begin in 2024. Multinational corporations like AMD have also established significant manufacturing operations in the country. In addition to reduced costs, US-China tensions have also prompted companies to diversify operations and set up in Malaysia. These industry leaders have not only brought in foreign direct investment, but have also played a crucial role in technology transfer and the development of local expertise. Their presence has had a ripple effect, spurring the growth of supporting industries and creating a thriving ecosystem of suppliers, service providers and specialised talent. In addition to these multinational giants, Malaysia is also home to several homegrown semiconductor companies that have emerged as key players in the global supply chain. These companies have carved out niches in areas such as outsourced assembly and testing, radio frequency components and optoelectronics. The COVID-19 pandemic sent shockwaves through global supply chains and the semiconductor industry was not spared. Lockdowns and disruptions to transportation networks led to production delays and shortages of critical components. These disruptions exposed the vulnerabilities of globally interconnected supply chains and highlighted the need for greater resilience. Malaysia, as a major hub for semiconductor manufacturing, felt the impact of these disruptions. Factory closures and movement restrictions affected production schedules while surging demand for electronics, driven by the shift to remote work and online learning, further strained the industry's capacity. The pandemic underscored the importance of diversification and regionalization in supply chains. Companies began to explore alternative sourcing options and consider strategies to reduce their reliance on single suppliers or geographical locations. In response to the challenges posed by the pandemic, Malaysia has taken steps to strengthen its semiconductor industry and enhance its resilience. One key focus has been on diversifying sourcing and manufacturing capabilities. The government has implemented policies to encourage companies to establish multiple sourcing options and reduce their reliance on single suppliers. Another area of emphasis has been on fostering greater collaboration within the industry. The government has facilitated partnerships between local and multinational companies to promote knowledge sharing, technology transfer and joint ventures. These collaborations are aimed at strengthening the overall competitiveness of the Malaysian semiconductor ecosystem. Malaysia has also recognized the importance of investing in advanced technologies and capabilities to move up the value chain. This includes focusing on areas such as chip design, advanced packaging and the development of next generation semiconductor materials. In conclusion, it is safe to say that Malaysia has undergone a profound economic transformation. The Malaysian economy is robust and highly diversified, with a growth rate of 4.2% in the first quarter of 2024 alone. So, what are your thoughts about Malaysia's economy and its semiconductor industry? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, take care.